Welcome to Kids Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings, and how they relate to your kids. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. You know, Debbie, when it comes to kids, the topics are wide and varied. And it just so happens we have a wide range of topics varied all over the place on today's show. For instance? For instance, how about, let's see, braces, pets, household keys, reading skills, and clean shoes on the carpet. That's a good selection, and I bet you they all have a good story to go behind them. Yes, they do. They're all on today's show. Well, stay tuned, because it's all coming up right now on Kid Spaces. You know it's a big part of your kids staying healthy? Their teeth. Right, and most kids could use orthodontic braces. Not only does it create a beautiful smile, but it can prevent future problems. So right now, Kids Spaces takes a closer look at the latest innovations in orthodontic brace technology. So smile. <laughs> You've made the decision. Your child needs braces. But you've got plenty of questions. Like, what kind of braces are available? What will work best for my child? What will the braces look like? Are they comfortable? Kid Spaces is here in Montreal, Quebec to get some answers from Dr. Patrice Pelleron. If we compare the old technology to what's new today, parents will a lot of times refer to the train track being those big metal braces on the teeth and that's the only thing you see in your smile. Nowadays, we personally, I don't use them unless they will ask for it. There's ways of doing it with ceramic braces from 3M. There's hidden braces and ceramic braces. But the opposite is what people will think are as strong, as fast, as reliable as metal braces were before. So there's really no need to go anywhere else than aesthetic. We cannot cut on the quality or on the result. You, you have to get the same result, but the good news is that we can get that same result with different types of braces. So you're ready? Good. Anxious? Mm hmm. <laughs> scared? A bit. A bit? What are you scared about? Will it hurt? You won't feel a thing. Nothing. Let's hope. They're just, no, they're just glued on your teeth, so it's very, very easy. You'll see. The Parents want to know what's the problem, what we can fix, and let's be honest, they want to know the cost of that. What, how much is it going to cost? Uh, kids, <laughs> that would be funny to think that we're talking about aesthetics. Kids mainly will ask, depending on the age group, can I get color on my braces? So even if we think they shouldn't be seen, they want their braces to show even more. That would be more their concern, like discomfort or pain and uh, food restriction. But after a couple of weeks, they can do almost whatever as far as musician. It, it implies using their mouth. Sports, there's no difference. The only little difference, any sports requiring a mouth guard, you need to ask your orthodontist for that specific mouth guard. How long before we start seeing a change in her teeth? One visit. In one visit, which means six to eight weeks, you will not believe that it's still your teeth. It, it's going to change a lot. These new style braces are made by 3M, a leader in the healthcare industry, especially in dentistry and orthodontics. It's also the company you may be familiar with for making post-it notes, scotch tape, and lots of other products for office and home. The company's latest innovations in teeth straightening include these incognito hidden braces. One important bonus, you can't see them when you smile. The beauty of having the lingual braces is that uh, for us orthodontists, we do have the same control as outside the teeth or labial braces. Results are important. We want the teeth to move where we want them to go. Um, so the lingual braces give us definitely the same uh, precision as we do have with regular braces. Now we have something that we can honestly say that we have as much control with that type of braces that when if I tell you that's the kind of braces you need to wear you're gonna think I'm making a mistake there's no braces there because they're all inside uh, but that's the only braces we can the only lingual braces we can be assured that we get the same control as we do with normal labial or out of outside the teeth braces I'm 22 so I think it's easier because it doesn't show when you have labial braces 
Only in two months with Incognito, I see a big difference. The alignment of my teeth is almost perfect, so I love Incognito. <laughs> And while you're looking for the right braces for your child, be sure to check out orthodontic options for yourself. One in five people wearing orthodontic braces is an adult. And with hidden incognito braces, nobody ever has to know you're wearing them. These lingual braces are definitely, definitely popular with adults. So a lot of adults are like wanting braces when they were younger, uh, don't want them when they were younger, or the parents cannot afford it when the kids were younger now seeks for treatment. We could say personally in my practice, we're like over 32% of our clientele are adults. So being able to treat these patients with something they're willing to wear and happy to wear, like because they're not concerned about the appearance, is, yeah, it's a thrill. To find out more information about what happens before, during, and after getting orthodontic braces, visit the website 3mbraces.com. Here you can type in your zip code and find a licensed orthodontist in your area. Talk to him or her about the different types and styles of 3M braces. Your orthodontist will consider a number of factors when deciding if braces are right for your child. And you can also discuss ways to straighten your own smile. I wanted to get them because I wanted to make my teeth uh, like straight and I wanted these to come fill in nicely so just to spread them out a bit. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy when I get older, I'll have straight teeth. So, do you love them? Yes. Okay. yes. I love the purple that you chose. I find it's really you. Eh? Wonderful. When the kids are around, there's lots of activity going on, and they go from inside and outside, dragging things into the home. You know what I'm thinking? Doormat. Absolutely, but not just any doormat. One that eliminates toxins and germs from coming inside. You sound like you have a little bit of experience with this. I kind of do. What? Your mom always said, Wipe your feet. Don't track that dirt into this house. And now you have kids of your own. And, well, we don't have to guess what you say to them. Wipe your feet. Cleaning up dirty footprints is a hassle especially when they end up on a rug or carpet. But what if we told you dirt is the least of your concerns when it comes to things being tracked into your home? Here to tell us what we're bringing in with the surface dirt and what we can do about it is an expert in the flooring industry, Jerry Senfrini. Jerry, welcome to Designing Spaces. Thanks for having me here today. It's great to be here. You know, most people don't realize as homeowners what they're tracking into their, their house, but we're talking about some nasty stuff here today, aren't we? You sure are. You're yeah. talking about germs, you're talking about pesticides, you're talking about gasoline, oil, animal feces, it's pretty nasty. It sounds like a health hazard to me. It sure is, and if you have small children or animals, it can be even worse, not to mention what you're being tracked into your house. Well, I'm always worried about the germs coming in, so I put a mat in the front of the door so you don't track them inside. Is that helping? Completely ineffective. You're kidding It's not me. gonna do anything for you, no. It'll wipe off all the big particles on your shoes, yeah. but as far as the pesticides, the gas, the oils, the, the feet, it, none okay. of it's coming off. Here I am thinking I'm doing something good. You're trying, but I'm trying. it's not going to work. I'm okay, sorry. But enough of the bad news. You have a solution, right? I have a solution, and it's called the magic mat. All right. This is wonderful. So how did you come up with this idea? Fifteen years in the flooring business, I needed a product that would protect the interior of the homes after we were done installing floors. So I developed this product so that when the people came in and out, it would clean the bottom of their feet off, mm -hmm. and then further developed it into a product that could be used in every home everywhere. Can you show us how it works? Well, how it works is we have this green clean solution called the spray and we simply spray the mat with the product and when people come into the home all they need to do is do a quick wipe on their feet and it'll disinfect the bottom of your shoes, clean all the things off that you're tracking in from outside right? and you're done. And that's normally what we do anyway but the germs are stopping there, they're not coming into the home. Correct. It's because of the spray, the spray activates the mat and right. together the combination is what's going to clean the bottom of your shoes. Well it looks like a typical mat but of course we know it's not. So is it expensive? Not expensive because it's custom manufactured by us and mm -hmm. basically when you look at the mat, the quality of the product and the spray that you get along with it, it's comparable to anything you'd find in a, in, a, in a retail store. Well, this is fantastic for keeping our homes healthy and clean. So where can we find the Magic Mat? You can find it at magicmat.com. That's magic with a K. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for being here today. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Well, to view any part of this segment again and a link to the Magic Mat, view our website at designingspaces.tv. 
All right, Jerry, I want to try this out. Absolutely, go ahead. It seems so easy. I love it. Here at Designing Spaces, we believe in the power to read. So we're helping parents teach children to read with some super friends. Here's a super why super reader tip. Watch this. It's super why with the power to read on Kids Spaces. Want some ideas to help your kids learn to love to read? Check out these super reader tips from Angela Santamero, creator of Super Why. Make your own book reviews. Parents, here's a good idea. We keep a book review in its own journal of what we think of each of the books that we read. My little one will do the drawings about the book, and my older one will really write what she's thinking about the characters and whether she really likes a book or not, and then we'll share them with her friends. We also read chapter books together as a family at story time. We're currently reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I can't wait to hear the reviews from the kids. Want your kids to be a super reader too? Watch Super Y on PBS Kids and go to supery.com to help your kids love to learn to read. Also go to designingspaces.tv to see more super reader tips. You know, with both parents working, safety and security are a concern when the kids come home from school. You want to be sure both the house and the child are safe. You know, giving a child a key, well, sounds easy, but it doesn't always work out that way. Here's Bobby Dodge with a simple solution. Hello? Mom, I can't find my house key. Are you sure? Did you check every part of your backpack? Yeah, I checked everywhere. Can you just come home and let me in? Sweetheart, I can't. I've got an important business meeting right now. There's no way I can possibly leave work. You have to. Look, I have to go. Just stay in the yard, and I'll be home as soon as I can, okay? I love you. Bye-bye. Working moms have so many things to worry about. When juggling responsibilities with children, work, and home, it can be a struggle to meet everyone's needs and maintain the right balance. At work, you want to minimize your worries about the security of your children after school by accommodating for their safety in advance. Kids Faces has gotten together with Masterlock to look at one way to stop the worry of kids forgetting their house key or losing it at school. With us is Laura Stang, product manager of Safe Space Products at Masterlock. Now she's here with us to help a working mom alleviate some of the fears associated with a latchkey kid securely entering and leaving the house while she's away from home. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. What did you bring along to show us? Well, I brought our Masterlock 5400 portable key safe and our Masterlock 5401 wall mount key safe. Where would you suggest that these be placed? Well, the portable key safe can easily go on a doorknob and the wall mount key safe can be placed near an entrance. What if I didn't want to have them in the front of the house where they're visible to anybody walking by? Well, to optimize security, you might want to place them on a rear entrance because that way you can't see them from the road or to visitors who may come to your front entrance. Makes good sense. How exactly do they work and are they kid friendly? Well, they're very kid friendly. Both the portable and the wall mount versions open in three easy steps. First, you open the dial cover. The dial cover protects the key safes from weather, dirt, and grime. They help keep the key safe in good working order in a variety of climates and conditions for you and your child. Second, enter the combination. The key safes have easy to spin, easy read dials. They're numbered zero through nine, so that way you can create a combination that's easy for you and your child to remember. And then third, press down on the lever. And that's it, you're entered the key safe. In a couple seconds, you can enter the combination, get the key, and enter your home. That is easy, and it's no more complicated than a school locker or a bicycle lock. I agree. Are there other uses for the key safes? Absolutely. If you think about a caregiver, service personnel, cleaning ladies, or even a helpful neighbor, so while you're away on a trip or on vacation, they can access your house. But don't worry about the security because you can always change the combination when you return. The versatility of these key safes are amazing, but I think what's more important is the peace of mind that working moms get knowing that their child is not locked out of the house. Yes, it is. The number of children who are left unsupervised at the end of a regular school day is over 15 million. And these students are on their own until their parents can get home from work. These key saves can help a student manage their after school activities with greater ease and less concern, which is great for them and their parents. The key saves also can be used for other convenient items like reminder notes or cash. Where can our viewers go to buy the Masterlock key saves? 
Mastelac key safes are found at most leading retailers or e-tailers. To find where a location's near you, you can go to masterlock.com, find the product that's right for you, and then click on the where to buy link. Well, Laura, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. I had a great time, learned a lot of new information. Thank you. You can also go to designingspaces.tv. Click into the Kids Spaces section where you can watch this part of the show again, and you'll also find the link that Laura just mentioned to the Master Lock Key Saves. For Kids Spaces, I'm Bobby Dodge. Oh, hey, Mom. Yeah, I made it inside. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, what's a natural pairing with kids? Peanut butter and jelly. Actually, that's a good one, but I was thinking more like pets. A cat. All right, we'll give the kids the task of cleaning out the kitty litter box. Yeah, and you think that's going to get done? Yeah, I think we all know <laughs> the answer to that one. But I hear you have some experience in keeping the kitty happy. I do. What? Having a cat can be a wonderful experience for the whole family. Kittens or adopted cats as a first pet takes a child into a new world, learning what their needs are and even taking on a little responsibility. The Miller family has a new addition to the household. Bella the cat has a new home and Gia is taking good care of the new member of the family. So let me ask you, how is Bella adapting to her new home? Well, everything's going great. We've taken all the right steps, mm -hmm. the visit to the vet, all the right food, mm -hmm. dishes, and of course, kitty litter. Kitty litter. It's a necessary evil. But we have a special friend with us today, Paula Gobi from Automated Pet Care Products, to show us an innovative method for making the kitty litter cleaning issue, well, less of an issue. Paula, welcome to Kids Space. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for having me. So, what do you have here today for us? The litter robot. It's an automatic self-cleaning cat litter box mm -hmm. that really saves people time and money. They no longer have to scoop the litter box, odors are kept to a minimum, and the kitty gets a fresh litter pan every time, mm -hmm. which is really important because if you don't keep up with the litter box, yeah. your cat tends to go elsewhere in the house. You don't want that, but this is going to be perfect for cat owners. So. Absolutely. Let me show you how it works. Great. Okay, let's go. This is the litter robot. So what happens is the cat will enter the globe mm -hmm. and do its business. Okay. And there's a weight sensor inside that can detect once the cat has exited. It will wait seven minutes and then it will gently and quietly start to rotate, sifting the waste into the base below while at the same time saving the clean litter for the next use. Hmm. So then all you have to do is open the drawer and empty a bag once or twice a week. So how do you get the cat to go inside the litter robot? Well, most cats do tend to go into the globe on their own, but if you have difficulties, we recommend just letting the old box sit next to the litter robot and just let it get overrun, and eventually the cat will go into the litter robot. Now, what if the cat enters while this is in the cleaning mode? No worries. That weight sensor can mm -hmm. detect if the cat steps on the step, oh. and it will automatically stop the motor. Okay. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Yes. Perfect. Okay, and is there any certain kind of litter that we need? You can use any kind of clumping cat litter. As long as it's clumping, it will work. So, Melanie Gia, what do you think? Does Bella like uh, the litter robot? Well, I like it, so Bella has no choice in that matter. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like the way you think. So, Paula, where can our viewers find the litter robot? The Litter Robot is available online mm -hmm. at www.litter-robot.com. Mm -hmm. It is also backed by a 90-day money-back guarantee as well as an 18-month warranty. Good to know. Sounds good. Well, Paula, thank you so much for being here. And the folks at Automated Pet Care Products really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, for Kids Spaces, I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Hey, Deb, I think we're getting the swing of this. I think so. Stay tuned for another great idea on Kids Spaces. Traffic accidents are the number one killer of teens. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, motor vehicle crashes claim the lives of nearly 5,000 teens every year and injure about 375,000. When I was 16, one of my friends was killed in a car accident and um, it affected me big time because I had to start driving and I was very nervous on the road, but um, I just knew I have to be safe and drive slow. And 
I just didn't want to end up like that or put any of my friends in that type of danger. It's a devastating reality, underlining the importance of talking to teens about safe driving. In research recently conducted by the Allstate Foundation, 89% of teens said it is their parents who have the biggest influence on their driving habits. While many parents know the dangers associated with teen driving, they avoid the safe driving talk. A lot of kids think they're invincible and nothing will ever happen to them, and I think maybe a lot of parents don't want to make them fearful um, of driving. But I think it's okay to put a little fear in the kids, you know, maybe that way they'll be a little more cautious when they're behind the wheel. Allstate Insurance Company has a program for both parents and teens to address teen driving. This program is a contract that both parents and teens talk about to open up the crucial points that both parents and teens should know before your teen starts driving. To learn more about it, Kids Spaces caught up with Stacy Kagan, a South Florida Allstate agent who is devoted to promoting safe teen driving. Stacey, thank you for being on the show today. Thank you so much for having me. You know, parents with kids that are driving or may be driving soon may not realize the importance of talking to their teens about the possible dangers and responsibilities. Why do you think teen driving hasn't been given the same attention as other issues like alcohol and drugs? Things like alcohol and drugs and peer pressure are mm -hmm. all things that we hear about all the time. Right. But when it comes to teen driving, it's really something that hasn't been recognized widely enough. Mm -hmm. This teen driving issue is a, is a national epidemic. We have too many kids that are out on the road that are getting into accidents and that are getting killed. Right now, Allstate has a very big stand in the GDL laws, which are the Graduated Driver's Licensing Laws. And what those are, are those set limits on novice drivers, people just learning how to drive mm -hmm. teens, as to what time they should be driving, how many hours of practice they should have, what ages they should be, and right now it's on a state-by-state -state level. So here in Florida, it could be a completely different law than in Georgia right. or New York. So Allstate feels very, very strongly in supporting all of these teen driving laws to be national. So regardless of what state you live in, it's all the same. You know, there's many distractions on the road, and even the most experienced drivers have a problem with them. Is this something that you think parents should talk about with their teens? How many times have you been out on the road that you've seen a kid possibly swerve while talking on their cell phone, while reading a text? So parents really need to make their kids aware that these distractions are killers. Most of my friends do talk on the phone while they're driving and text, and they eat and drink while they drive. It's not safe for others to be on the road with someone that's doing that. So right now it's very important for teens and parents to have that open line of communication to say, hey, you shouldn't be changing that satellite radio station. You shouldn't be talking on that cell phone. You should be concentrating on the road mm -hmm. to prevent accidents and to make you aware of what's going on. The University of Utah conducted a study that talking on your cell phone while driving is like having a .08 blood alcohol level, which defines legal drunkenness in most states across the United States. The Journal of the American Medical Association has done another study, and this is even scarier because, for example, I have a daughter who's 20. And when she was a teen, I always used to, used to think it was safer for her to drive with somebody in the car. Mm -hmm. Well, believe it or not, by having one additional male driver in the car, it doubles your chances of having a fatal crash. You know, during the summertime, it's a very scary time. From Memorial Day to Labor Day, we have something called the 100 deadliest days for teen drivers. You have more teens on the road, they're out of school, right. they think they're invincible, and more automobile crashes happen during that time period for teens than any other time during the year. Now you have a contract for parents and teens, correct? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, tell me about it and how does that work? Okay, we have something called the Parent Teen Driving Contract. It highlights the responsibilities of the teenager and what they need to do on the road. It talks about the consequences that if, God forbid, that teenager gets a ticket, gets into an accident, what will happen. And it also, which is really the most important thing, it opens up the lines of communication between parent and teenager, and everybody knows what's expected. We can um, also look at the teen driving contract and view it online. It's okay. a great interactive site, allstate.com slash teen. You can go in and you can make changes to it. Oh. So it's fantastic. So right. a parent and teen can sit and say, okay, in your first month of driving, these will be your consequences. Mm -hmm. If you're successful, this will be your reward. So it could be a very, very positive thing. It can also be adjusted a year down the road, two years down the road. Okay and it's a great tool. 
All kids need to talk to their parents about driving, and it should be mandatory with all families. It can save other people's lives as well as your own. I actually think that there can never be enough talk about teen driving and safety. Uh, there's so many deaths that occur amongst uh, teenagers from driving that it needs to be talked about constantly. At Allstate, we believe in making the roads a safer place to drive, and that's our stand. We not only want teens safe, we want parents safe, we want passengers safe, we want the roadways to be a safer place. Aside from the parent-teen driving contract, are there any other tools that Allstate has for both parents and teens? We actually have over 14,000 agents nationwide. You can stop into any agent's office, you can pick up a teen driving video, and there are a lot of real-life stories that talk about real things that happen to teens, mm -hmm. and this video is a great way to open up the communication as well. Wonderful. I have to thank you so much for being on this show today and really bringing to our attention something that many of us may not know is an epidemic right now that we can actually prevent. Thank you so much for having me. I've really enjoyed talking about this, and this is a very important point for all states. So let's go ahead and look at the contract. Okay. Here on Kids Spaces, we believe in the power to read, and we are helping parents teach their children with some super friends. In fact, here's another super why super reading tip. It's super why with the power to read on Kids Spaces. Want some ideas to help your kids learn to love to read? Check out these super reader tips from Angela Santamero, creator of Super Why. Words are everywhere. Create a lifelong love of reading. Reading really does feel like a superpower to kids. Suddenly, words are everywhere, and they can read them. So read anything and everything with them. Signs for the bathroom, stop, go, food aisles in the grocery store. Good job, Mommy. Want your kids to be a super reader, too? Watch Super Y on PBS Kids and go to superwide.com to help your kids love to learn to read. Also go to designingspaces.tv to see more super reader tips. It looks like we covered everything you said at the beginning of the show. Yeah, we started right here with braces, pets, house keys, reading skills, and clean shoes on the carpet. Yep, all of those. All right, so what do we do now? Well, actually, nothing. We're out of time. I think we say goodbye. Good idea. Thanks for watching Kid Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Can Bye. I? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Woohoo! For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacestv or friend us on Facebook. Type in the words Designing Spaces. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.